All right, let's start by coming onto our back. Grab behind your right knee. On the inhale, you're gonna straighten out your leg, flex the foot. On the exhale, point the toe, rebend the knee. Five to 10 times on this side, and then rotate the ankle at the top, holding the stretch. Point and flex your foot a few times and hold the flexion of your foot as you cross the ankle above the knee. You can press the thigh away or hug your left knee into chest if you need a more intense variation of the stretch. You can gently rock from side to side, giving the hips a nice gentle massage. And then take the left foot down to the ground and drop both legs over to the left. The sole of the right foot is on the ground, right knee up towards the ceiling, and you can gently press the right thigh away with the left hand. Then bring it up through to center, straighten your right leg, lower and lift five to 10 times here. And then try to also connect this with your breath. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Second side, grab behind the left leg, inhale, extend, exhale, point and bend. If you have a tighter side, you might get a couple more reps on that tighter side. Rotate the ankle, point and flex, hold the flexion and cross the ankle just above your knee. Press the thigh away or hug it in. I like to personally rock from side to side within this stretch because I feel like it helps me ease in rather than abruptly stretching as much as I can all at once. Then you'll take your right foot down to the ground and drop everything over to the right. Push that thigh away if you need more or just simply let it hang out in space. <laughs> Good, and bring it back up through to center. Straighten out your left leg, lower and lift. However many times you did for the right is what you'll repeat on the left. Squeeze the knees into the chest just for a moment and then come up to tabletop with the legs. Knees just above the hips, ankles out from the knees. So these are called chairs. One leg is gonna to be totally stable as the opposite leg works out to the side. Think like dog peeing on a fire hydrant, right? The leg that isn't in motion, try to keep that completely steady. Five to 10 times on each side, it's your call. Then squeeze the knees in, roll it out, and come on up to tabletop position. Hands and knees here. Great opportunity to really move into that breath for a couple cat cows. And then when you're ready, downward facing dog, pedal out the legs maybe, bend one knee, work the opposite leg to straight. Then take your feet out wider and walk your hands back. I like to bend my knees a generous amount here and kind of sway the weight of my body from right to left. And then with the flat back, you're gonna come all the way up on your inhale and your exhale flat back all the way down, walking into down dog and then right away to the top of the mat. You got a halfway lift there and then exhale, fold. Strong legs, arms up, breathe in, and exhale, take it back down. Lengthen, step your left toes all the way back, drop the knee and untuck the toes. Both hands to your right thigh and push the thigh away as you tuck your pelvis under. Reach your left arm up, inhale, exhale, bend it over to the right. Take a couple really nice big breaths into that left side of your body. When you're ready, center up, breathe in, Exhale, hands down, step left toes to right toes, top of the mat, lengthen, and step your right toes all the way back. Back knee down, toes then tuck, same, same, but different. Press away, get that stretch in the psoas, then reach your right arm high, and this time taking it over to the left for however many breaths you feel you need here. Bring it back up. Exhale, hands down to the ground. Step back up top of the mat, flat back, and lift all the way up. Exhale, hands down to the earth. Inhale, lengthen, plant your hands, step it back to plank pose. On your inhale, lift your left leg up straight. Exhale, step outside your left hand, drop hips, lift chest. Take it back to plank and then repeat on the second side. We don't need to linger in the stretch too long here, I'm trying to go for more activity so we can get some blood flowing. Last time to the right, hips low, chest high. 
take it back and downward facing dog. From here, you're gonna take your left foot. You're gonna step outside of your left hand, right foot outside of right hand, sink your butt, lift your chest, malasana, yogic squat. Take a couple breaths, spread the knees, hands down, lift back up into your halfway lift, exhale, fold. Use your legs to come up, big breath in. Right knee to chest, and then cross your right ankle just above your left knee as you sit down. Hands can come to heart or at your hips. Inhale back up, knee all the way up to your chest, and then sweep those toes all the way back for crescent lunge. Try not to let club booty take over here. Try to keep a nice long spine, and then hands down, sweep it back, three-legged dog, into your down dog. Back to Malasana, right side first this time, left foot, sink down, open up. Hands down, lift up, forward fold, halfway lift, exhale, inhale, nice and slow, left knee up to the chest, cross ankle above knee, sit back and down, weight into your right heel, and then come up, left knee to chest, big breath in, take your toes back, crescent. Big breath in, beautiful, hands down to the ground, swing it back, three-legged dog to down dog. Moving into plank from here and all the way down to your belly, however you wanna get there, it's up to you. Both arms will come up with arms overhead, kick your left heel to butt, grab a hold of the top of that foot with your right hand, roll onto the left side of your body, bending your top knee in towards your chest. If you want more, you can extend your top leg out in front of you, grabbing a hold with peace fingers and thumbs. When you're ready, return to your belly and take your right knee out to the right as you rest on your belly and breathe. Then you'll reset. Right leg to left, arms overhead, right heel to butt, grab a hold with the left hand, roll onto the right side of your body, bend knee to chest, maybe work that leg to straight if you have the hamstring flexibility for it. Slowly retrace footsteps. Take your left knee out to the left. Maybe rest your forehead on top of your hands. Take a couple deep breaths for this passive and rejuvenating stretch. Slowly work your leg. Slowly press back to child's pose. Hips come into heels, knees out wide, toes together, and take a few breaths. <laughs> 